Hello everyone. Uh, now it's it's the time. So welcome to a new edition of the Astronomy Education Adventure in the Canary Islands Summer School. I'm Naira Rodriguez from the Instituto de Astrofisica de Canarias, the IAC, and I'm one of the course coordinators together with Rosa Doran from Nucleo. So Rosa, if you want to say hello. Yes, I would like to say hello to everyone. Naira, it's a, a privilege to be here again with you and uh, the whole team. Unfortunately, we cannot uh, be face to face, but uh, we are together with people from all over the world, which is uh, actually very, very nice. So I just have to say this, you know, we always say, uh, be careful what you wish for. And I remember the first time I, I, I met Naira and we said, should we organize a training like this together? And she said, yeah, that might be a good idea. I don't think she knew how big this would become and the team, the super team that we would have. So it's a, a super pleasure to have you, to have you all with us. And I have to say one more thing that I just realized that uh, today Nucleo is celebrating exactly today its 20th anniversary. So it's another milestone for us. It's a, a very nice day, a very happy day, having as a celebration of the 20th anniversary, the Canary Island course. So oh, that's very happy. That's fantastic, Rosa. I, I, today is also, um, this month, I'm also uh, celebrating 10 years on uh, astronomy outreach and education. So I think awesome. we have a lot of things to celebrate today. I think so. <laughs> And of course, it's a real pleasure to have uh, all of you. Later on, we will introduce uh, all of you, the, the course tutors and collaborators. But now I would like to mention the institutions and projects that are collaborating in this edition uh, and thank all of them for being part of this great adventure. Uh, the course is organized by the IAC together with, with NUCLEO, the Folks Telescope Project, the National Schools Observatory, and the Educational uh, Initiative CESAR from ESA in the framework of the IAC Education Project with Robotic Telescopes, the Our Space, Our Future Project, and the European School Innovation Academy. So we are very happy to be celebrating this seventh uh, edition of the course and the second uh, in an online format. Although we would love to welcome you here in the Canary Islands and be able to, to hold workshops and the visits to the IAC facilities in person, the virtual format gives us a unique opportunity to share this event with many more teachers uh, from practica practically all over the world uh, in a sustainable way and contributing our grain of sun to curb the, the pandemic. So uh, indeed, this year uh, we have 135 participants from 30 countries all over the world. And it's a real pleasure to have such a large group of en enthusiastic teachers. And don't worry, because even though uh, this is an online e event, we will do our best uh, to make it memorable, uh, a memorable experience, and to make you feel close to us and uh, to the rest of the participants. And during, for that, during the course, we will uh, have the opportunity to get to know each other and also a bit of your culture and all those regions of the world uh, where you are. And we also want you to feel close to the sky of these fortunate uh, islands, the Canary Islands, and to the science being developed here at the IAC and in its observatories. And for this, nothing better than to be welcomed by the uh, Vice Director of the IAC, Cassiana Muñoz, who is also responsible for the observatories of the Canary Islands. So Cassiana, thanks a lot for being uh, with us today. And please, if you can, uh, share your video and, and your audio. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you to everybody. And welcome, welcome and congratulations because well, let me try to hide as it should be. Right. Uh, well, I would like to welcome and to to thank Naira and Rosa for doing this huge work 
because for the time seeing that so many people, so many interested people in education in general and astronomy in particular, that this is uh, moving, right? So this is very good. And this is the number seven, that means that there were some other, quite a number of others. I also see that you come from many countries, which is excellent as well. And I think you are a lot of females, which is also very good as well. Men are also welcome, more than welcome. So, but all that is very, is very challenging. And the thing is that, as Naira mentioned, that this is an online course which gives you more, possi more possibilities, in particular for being here, although being working somewhere very far from, from the Canary Island. But we also give us the opportunity to tell us, to tell you a little bit of what we are. So the Institute is a research institution, which is very much focused on astronomical observations. And because of that, our central or core are the observatories, right? So the observatories are here because Canada is excellent for the astronomical uh, measuring of the, of the sky, because the skies are very good and all this sort of thing. But other, all of that make us to have two of the most, uh, I mean, major observatories in the world, which are a number of um, different telescopes in which participate countries of all over the world. We are always trying to get the, the most important ones, and that is why our science is moving forward. And based on the, on the data of these observatories and also complementary observatories of other, other sites in the world, we have a great number uh, of achievement of research. This is our, our base, this is our, our nucleus, right? Here, oh, oh, yes. This is a, a video that has been prepared by NIDA, in fact, in which shows to you where we are in the Canary Island. Here is the island of La Palma, the island of uh, Tenerife as well. So these are the two sides of our observatory. So this is just a brief thing. So this is Taylor Observatory, where you see this high solar, solar tower. This is the Roque de los Muchachos at La Palma, in which you have more classical uh, domes, which are the solar, the, the next time uh, observing. Uh, telescopes. This is a time lapse in which you see how many stars we can see because of the darkness of the sky. This is the, the jewel of the crow, which is the, the, the GTC. And this is the CTI infrastructure. So CTI is an open telescope meant for, for detecting very high energy things in the universe. Well, all these things is just to, to, to show off a little bit on, on what are the facilities we have and how good is the sky we, 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 we enjoy. All that facilities and sky and high technology and sky and experience and technician, techniques and, and science is what makes the, 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 the institute to be a reasonably, or say, quite good institute, which is now a Severo Ochoa, which is one of the biggest awards that the Spanish uh, government gives to, to the very best institutions in research. So, if I skip here, yeah, right, me, wait, wait, wait. All right, let me try to go to somewhere. Else. Okay, so besides this, which is, as I said, a reason of being, we are very, very interested in education and public knowledge, because maybe for those of you who have been here, the Canary Islands are very, an excellent place to visit. It's a very beautiful, place to, to, to go for tourism. And it's also an excellent place for education and also for, we have the support of all the of people living here because we understand astronomy cannot be developed as a separate thing from the rest of the society. And then because of that, we have a, an important effort for education and from public communication. And in the base of that is the, the things like the one you are going to enjoy this, uh, this week are being organized. So to us, this is an effort that we have to do, which is not directly related with the research we do, which is our, our main drive, but it's also a way to, to make more useful this research that we are developing within our institution. And that takes us to, the, to a large number of educational projects that have been developed along the different years. Here, this is just a, a compendium of the different things. For instance, we have this 100 lunar, 100 lunas quadrada, which is a, is a, is a very beautiful uh, project in which the, there are images, very high quality images of a large 
uh, area in the sky equivalent to this area, which is 100 grados quadrados, 100 lunas quadradas. These are images which are at the disposal of everybody. We have all these robots which are looking at the sky and you can use for education. You can have, we have frequently students visiting the observatories. We, we really much look forward that the next edition of this uh, course may be in person, or at least part of you can be in person here. And therefore you can also be visiting the observatories in person, which is a very beautiful experience and very challenging one. And also we have things like the solar system as a lab at the school. We also try to, to promote the role of, astro of women in astronomy. I mean, there is a variety of things, which all of them have to do with education in the more general sense of the world. All this information is uh, at, your, at your disposal in this course and outside this course. I mean, this is part of the reason why we do that. All the things that our public coverage department do is to, to make all this information clear enough and accessible enough for everybody. And, sorry, I think I get out without wanting, but I'm just about to finish. Wait a second. And this is just my, my last slide. I just uh, want to really uh, thank you for being the, in, the, in the course. I also want to congratulate you to, for having chosen to, to do education for young people. That is excellent. I think I welcomed you already more than two years ago. I mean, the, the, the very last uh, meeting like this one, it was in this aula, uh, aula here to the, to the right. And there it was the very last before the pandemic. I'm very glad that the course, the, 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 the school has survived despite this bad moment we're having. And more than that, that all this is going to encourage all of you to keep working and to work even more for the education, which is at the end what really matters. And I think that we are at the IC, we are very happy. And we know that the astronomy is a, is a tremendous uh, tool for, for catching the interest of our students to increase the knowledge of the society. And because of that, I, I mean, I offer you all the things we have, if it is useful and, and that's all. I just wish you a very fruitful uh, session this, this week and enjoy, which I'm sure this is at the end one of the main reasons of listening and studying, right? So thank you very much and welcome. Thank you very much, Cassiana. Um, um, thank I'm trying to with the second stop sharing. Yes. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And, and thank you, as, as you said, thanks all the teachers, all the participants, all the educators for being uh, with us in this new adventure. And um, I'm, I'm going to uh, start sharing again to tell you a couple of general things about the course. And uh, I think here, okay. So yes, as Cassiana said, uh, two years ago was the, the last uh, in-person edition, and uh, we would love to have you again in the Canary Islands and visiting the facilities that Cassiana uh, has shown to, to all of you, and also the, the uh, headquarters here uh, where, where I am. Uh, where we do most of the research and also the technology de development, but we are going to have the opportunity to see, uh, to, to have a virtual visit to all, all those uh, the observatories and also our uh, headquarters uh, here in Tenerife. So uh, uh, as Cassiana also mentioned a bit, uh, the aim of this course is to provide all of you with the knowledge and tools that, we, that will allow you to stimulate your students' in interest in science and technology through astronomy. And to do this, we will introduce general concepts about astronomy and astrophysics and provide tools and resources that can help you to make the STEM education more challenging and inspiring to your students. For example, uh, the 
information and communication technologies, online labs, and robotic telescopes that can be used as a powerful tool for doing science at the school. And our approach also contains the use of inquiry-based and project-based uh, learning and interdisciplinary learning. So this year, we wanted to pay tribute to the mythical TV series Cosmos by the astrophysics and science popularizer Carl Sagan to, commem Sagan, <laughs> sorry, to commemorate the 40th anniversary of uh, its first broad broadcast that was uh, in 1980 in the USA and between 1981 and 82 in Spain and many other countries around the, around the world. In this Serious Sagan, in addition to approaching us to the universe from the known and in a poetic way, he transmitted to us a fundamental knowledge as a species. That was our place, the place of our planet in the immense of the cosmos, the fragility of the life in it, and the responsibility we have as humans to care of it. This inspired us to choose our home in the cosmic ocean as the topic of this year's course and to focus on the content to focus the contents on the solar system our home uh, in this immense uh, universe and another essence of the series and of sagan uh, is the pacifist uh, spirit and the defense of science and rationalism against pseudoscience and superstition so we also take this inspiration to celebrate the fact that two, uh, 2021 has been proclaimed International Year of Peace and Trust by the uh, United Nations. It's time uh, to get to know each other a little better. So I'm going to start with the team of tutors and collaborators. The IAC is the local uh, organizer, local <laughs> of this course. So uh, through its outreach and communication uh, unit of which I am a, me uh, a member, many of my colleagues uh, collaborate in the implementation and development of the course, like Alejandra Rueda, who will, uh, who will be a moderator of some of the sessions uh, if she feels well, because she, she's not very, feeling very well. Hope you are getting better soon, Alejandra. Uh, Ines Bonet, who has made the designs of the course, all, all of the poster and banner and, and so on. And Ivan Jimenez, who has made some of the uh, audiovisual content that we are going to use during the course. We will also have lectures by renowned uh, IEC researchers like Hector Socas, that I think uh, it, uh, is with us uh, already, and Javier Licandro, who are also great uh, science popularizers, so I'm, I'm really sure uh, their talks are going to be very, very interesting. And uh, the course is organized uh, as part of the IAC Education Project with Robotic Telescope, uh, Telescopes, Peter, of which I am the coordinator. And just to, to introduce myself, I'm an astrophysicist by training. I did my PhD uh, here at the IAC in astrophysics and started working in the outreach and communication unit as a science educator and communicator in July 2011. So this month, I also celebrate, uh, as I said before, 10 years uh, dedicated to astronomy, outreach, and education. So I'm also very, very happy to be celebrating this during, during this, this course. And, uh, Okay, so on behalf of, of Nucleo, we have uh, its president, Rosa Doran, who is also co-chair uh, or co-director co co of this course and one of the tutors. And we also have Gustavo Rojas, who is the project coordinator of Nucleo, and he will also deliver some of the workshops and he will be in charge of the technical uh, support session. Uh, also, Ana Costa, who most of you probably have been in contact with because she's in charge of the course secretariat and she will also be giving support during the course. And uh, Teresa Di Terino, I hope I say it right uh, this time, supporting us with the uh, social media. 
So Rosa is also chair of the Galileo Teacher Training Program, and you can find her and the Nucleo team organizing teacher trainings uh, and other educational events almost everywhere in the world. So it's a real pleasure for us to have the Nucleo team with us one more year. And uh, so Rosa, please, uh, could you introduce yourself and say a few words about Nucleo and the projects that support uh, your participation in this course? Uh, yeah, after this introduction, I kind of spo spoil it all. <laughs> I feel emotional now. It's uh, it's it's really a pleasure uh, being here, and uh, we have a super team. Uh, I think this uh, the team that is running the Canary Island course. It's it's really one of a kind. Um, Every year we have uh, different projects that are supporting uh, the organization of these events. And we do organize uh, events uh, in the framework of COSPAR, in the framework of uh, the ESA, within partnership with ESA. Uh, we organize uh, courses here and there, wherever we find an opportunity across the world, we do organize teacher training workshops. Um, and uh, we have a partnership with um, uh, an organization called uh, the European Science Innovation Academy, where all these courses are um, announced, and uh, that has a, a very important uh, uh, summer school uh, event every year uh, in July that took place for the last two years online. Uh, you, but usually it's taking place in Marathon. We also have partnership with the Global Hands-On Universe team, uh, which is the kind of the inspiration that got us uh, started in um, teacher training. And this year we have a special uh, support and uh, a special uh, events taking place also in Portugal and around Europe uh, in the framework of the project Our Space, Our Future, that is trying to... Um, support uh, children to understand space careers in a different, uh, in a different format. But uh, we have uh, more than 30 projects going on at this moment, most of them devoted either to uh, innovation in, in, in education or um, astronomy and space exploration directly towards innovation in education. So this is our uh, golden treasure to support the creation of uh, ambassadors all over the world. So we can have this network of uh, champion teachers that are supporting other teachers in their country. And this is what we have been successfully doing for over 20 years. Now with representatives in over a hundred countries, more than 50,000 teachers having been reached by our activities. So the team is a super team, the team here, not only here, you have plenty of people from Nucleo that are not in this uh, team, they are supporting other projects, but uh, we are very privileged to have unique human beings. That's it from my part. Back to you, Naira. Yes, sorry, I, I couldn't find where to unmute myself. So thanks a lot, uh, Rosa. And now, uh, I'm the course is also organized in the framework of the FOLTS Telescope project. And we have with us its research director, Fraser Lewis, who is also part of the National Schools Observatory. And he, we, he will be one of our guides in this uh, adventure. So it's a pleasure to have you uh, with us the, the sixth consecutive year, Fraser. So, could you tell us uh, a little about yourself and the projects you are involved in? Ray said, I think he was with us. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I don't think Fraser well, is here. No? Okay. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. We can hear you. We don't hear you. <laughs> he heard you really later. I think he has problems with the headset. Okay. So he's uh, Gustavo Rojas. He is also one of our tutors. <laughs> sorry, Hi, sorry to jump in. <laughs> yeah, no, that's <laughs> perfect. And okay, so I will move, uh, and you will you will be able to to. 
to, to meet uh, Fraser later on today or tomorrow. Uh, I hope he can uh, fix the problems with the sound. And we are also very happy to have the collaboration of the uh, ISAS project, the CESAR, for the third consecutive year. And in this session, we will have uh, as tutor, it's science experiences and science cases coordinator, Beatriz Gonzalez. And being also part of the team, we have its actual coordinator, Michael Breitfeldner, and two CESAR trainees, Marina Cano and Sergio Manje. So please, uh, Beatriz, could you introduce yourself and the CESAR initiative? Sure. Thanks, Naira. We are very happy to be here uh, one, one year more. As you mentioned, it's the third year. I am astrophysics by training. I did my PhD in the University Complutense of Madrid. And I was working for 20 years in ESA space missions. And since 2015, I'm working full dedicated to the CESAR team, the educational um, team that we have for ESA in Spain. And uh, as you were mentioning, we have the support from Marina Cano and Sergio Matthew Mante, sorry, that are our trainees for six months. And thanks for the help. And also we have the help for four teachers that will give us some feedback about how they were doing the spaces experiences this year with us. I see Rajan Khan and Eduardo Uber already on. So thanks a lot for your help. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Bea. And uh, as an external collaborator, we also have the pleasure of counting on Sandra Benitez, who has been a colleague uh, in our department until a few months ago as coordinator of the Cosmolab project uh, that uh, Cassiana uh, already mentioned. It's another educational uh, project of the IAC. So Sandra, please, could you introduce yourself? Yes, hello everybody, good morning. Thank you very much, Naira. It's a real pleasure to participate in this course also for the third year in a row. I'm a science communicator, also an astrophysicist. I did my PhD in cosmology in Germany. And as Naira said, until very recently, I was part of the IAC education and outreach team, uh, coordinating the Cosmolab project. And this was an initiative to share uh, astronomy with uh, the educational community of Tenerife, of the island in which we are. And uh, I was mainly working in the organization and delivery of teacher trainings and workshops, and also the development of educational materials. But I'm also involved in uh, projects that use astronomy as a tool for development. And now we are, uh, I coordinate a project called Amanar, in which Naira is also a, a member. And we try with this to inspire and support uh, the Sahrawi community that is living in the refugee camps in Tinduf. Um, and in this course, well, I will be uh, giving a session today and tomorrow. And again, very happy to be here with all of you and of course with this amazing team. Thanks a lot, Sandra. And thank, thank uh, a lot to all of you, all the tutors, all the collaborators for your participation in this course because Without you, uh, this course uh, will, will not happen. 